what's up with our next episode so guys we're here in our little last plan of Austrian greatness where we are going to be attacking the Germans as you guys can already see um we're moving our troops out of Africa as I told you told you guys we don't we already can't defend it and so there's no point in keeping anymore and so we're just moving everyone to Africa to basically move to basically move around and for my troops being mobilized, I'm going to set the new rallying point for my ships right over here. And we have a baby boom, which aren't exactly good in this game. I don't know why, but, uh, you know, everybody's poor needs is actually more important. <laughs> if I must be honest with you, if the poor are happy, then I usually have a greater life. I'm going to be honest. Like, if the poor are happy, my life is great. If the poor are angry, my life is not so great. So, it's very good to keep the poor happy. And let's see. Let's see, you guys are almost ready to become a couple different units. I will have to get the rest of these guys all grouped up right here. Get the last little bit of my army all grouped up. And then we're going to divide them up into all these like cool little individual uh, soldiers. Because I want to make sure that the, all the armies are even. That's mainly why I want to make sure is that all the armies are even. And that they can e equally fight for the country. Because it's the hardest thing ever is like having one army that's really, you know, really, really powerful and it can knock everyone out and then just have one army that's just completely like, uh, why would I have this? This is so stupid. So yeah, we're going to make sure that happens. And Portugal, I believe, is finally rejoining us. Our brethren have finally returned. It means I don't have to put too much influence into that anymore. And I do have to worry about the other European powers because um, I believe they're going to try to influence... They're going to try to fight me in a lot of different areas, which two Sicilies put some influence in two Sicilies, which means we're just going to have to make sure that we keep them all down. Because we cannot, and I repeat, cannot have any instances where they dragged any of these guys out of our spheres. For this plan to work, we're going to have to make sure we keep utter and complete control over everything. Not only that, people, but we also have to make sure that, like, um, that none of my states that are currently underneath my control, such as Romania and Burgundy, uh, rebel against me and, like, become free. We can't, we can't have any rev revolutions succeed, okay? No revolutions, no revolutions, okay? Just no. Okay, now that we got all these guys, de-group them up, split them up into little tiny armies, so we can start, like, thinking about the troops, because I think... I believe I need about 16 armies in total, pretty much fully supported, let's see, let's go right here, to be able to defend against the German onslaughts. Because once the Germans come through, this is going to be a major fight. The Germans are literally mm, our biggest enemy, people. Like, if there's, any, if there's ever an enemy that I should say that is probably going to be our biggest challenge, it's going to be the Germans. The Germans are going to be fun <laughs> let's leave it in the terms of fun to fight okay and let's see we already got most of I believe we actually almost got most of the like first little bit of my army set up yeah I think we almost do let's see how much more spaces do we have to cover up let's see and then this army can go right here this army this can go right there this army can go right there. Okay, so we need one, two, three. Yes, research. Okay, next thing we need to get is uh, building advanced naval design. Actually, you know what? This would actually be more important because we're going to need taxes a lot. We're going to make sure our people are not funded by stupid things. Apparently, some factories are closing down. Uh, I have to close these down because I'm pretty sure they're in like stupidly placed areas. So let's just close all those down. Uh, I'm also going to close this down, close this down, and let's see, close this down, uh, let's see, is there anything else we need to close down? Yeah, there's still one more factory we need to close down. Uh, where is it? Where's the last, oh, <laughs> they're all right here in a bunch. Oh, that was kind of cute seeing all of them in a bunch, but now they're all gone. Let's see, go destroy that, 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 and there we go. All that done, all that you know, factories, still one bank that collapsed. Oh, gosh dang it, you banks. Stop collapsing and that collapsed. That collapsed. There we go. No more workers are unfed or unpaid. We got perfect enough amount of troops everywhere. I feel happy. And let's see, this army right here is coming together pretty well. 
once it's done being created, I'm going to go send these guys. I believe they're going to be my troops over here. They're going to be my fighters mainly over here and protect the people over here and be able to fight over there. That will be really awesome to see. Let's see, monitor all my situations and make sure everything's good. Oh, we have to make sure we'll also increase the relationship with the French. Because if we do forget about the increased relationship with the French, they'll not, they won't be friendly with us enough to where we'll be able to like do stuff with them by the time we need it. You should be dropping out of great power status by now, Netherlands. I don't know how you guys are staying in. You must be, no, you're not even at war with people. Dang, how are you guys staying? I, I don't know. Like, they should be gone by now. Okay, and let's see. For our most populated regions, uh, Benin's actually one of our most populated regions. Wow. Okay, for but for Garcia Lomanta to build some officers, maybe some officers would help us too. At least, I believe so. Let's see, we got some printing press also failing. Uh, we can keep this business going since it's the only one in it. Benin's gonna make its first factory! Hooray! The first factory, the first colony to become a full-fledged state underneath my roof. Like, I didn't inherit that. That was just literally coming there. Okay. And we already see some problems developing over here in our uh, Romanian, Romanian provinces. As I said before, they look like they're having little difficulties. Uh, Italy is trying to do some stuff with with my uh, good friends Ukraine. They're not going to be able to do much. Just just trust me on that. They're not going to be able to do much. Trust, just just give it a little bit. Just 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 give it a little bit. They'll be gone here soon. Okay, um, yeah, we can't justify a war yet because we're kind of weak, if I must be honest with you, weak, just weak, but it seems like, it seems like the Congo have already started to build up their own troops and already starting to, like, make themselves known across the world. Um, I actually have high hopes for this African state right here. I'm actually almost hoping that they'll actually become their own great power one day, you know, and break free from my oppressive rule. Because, you know, you don't... In usual Victoria 2, you usually see, like, one of the Asian powers become, like, you know, a great power. And maybe sometimes a South American power. But you never see an African nation become a great power. And I would, you know, personally, if I could just see that once in this game, that would probably make my day. Like, seriously, people, that would make my day the best in the world. And let's see, we have a couple different stuff like this happen. Let's see, we have different things like that. I mean, this is, oh my god, so many factories. So many factories, guys. The factories will explode. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are, we have the most capitalists in the world, and we have the most, don't have the most factories. That makes no sense to me. Okay, keep increasing relationships. When's the next time we can increase relationships? The 29th of September. Oh, and the other thing I need to be doing is making sure my relationships with uh, Denam are not exactly stellar, because if they are stellar by the time we get to wartime, oh, well, they might actually not be friends with Germany, which would be very bad if they're not friends with Germany, because the only other ally I could probably call... Who the heck is Bremen? Where are you guys in the world? Okay, you're 328 nation. Where are you guys? Okay, you know what? Fine country. Where is Bremen? Bremen. 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 No, no, no. I think it's BR actually. Now I think about it. Brain, 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 brain. No. Okay. Where is Brain? Where is this country of mythical belief? I feel like it doesn't exist. Oh, Bahim. Bahim. There it is. This? This is Bahim? The country of only 328 people? How is that a... Never mind, I'm not going to question that, because I was about to say, how is that a country? But then I remembered, like, the the Pope is technically a country, too, so... Or, as I like, to, the pa the Papal States are technically a country, too, so... I Anything could happen. <laughs> anything could happen in this weird world we live in nowadays with all these, like, weird stuff happening. This might actually have to be two armies, now that I think about it. That is a lot of troops in just one army. But hey, that's a good army right there. That is a really good army. So, if my invasion, if the Nam somehow becomes this, this free for me, I think actually a safer, oh no. Never mind, I was going to say we should probably declare war on Bahim, but, Achim, but apparently, like, um, they're allied with America, and America would get all mad at me if, like, 
if like they realize I did that and we could also try El Salvador except they're friends with America. Gosh dang it America, why do you have to be friends with everyone I hate? Sheesh, such good friends you are, not even realizing who I dislike and like. Okay, anyway, so we're gonna continue on. Next time we can influence fonts to become closer to on to our ideas is November eleventh. So literally in two days. Yes! Got it in just in time. Okay. I have a lot of factories failing right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm building a lot of factories because of my capitalist. They're basically being taxed literally zilch. I mean, I'm being such a nice guy to them in taxes. It's not even fun. Okay, I actually do need steamers up because I actually do use a lot of steamers. Like, we build a ton of steamers. Don't you guys agree? Like, we build a ton of steamers. So we have to actually keep the steamer market alive and well because if we don't keep it alive and well, who will? It is our duty as Austrians to... Crush that gigantic army that's that's appearing over there. Sheesh. Romanian, what are these? Romanian Frecky Corps. So basically, the fascists have decided to try to revolt against their masters. And I'm going to have to come in to make sure they don't do that. Because we definitely, I do not want Romania to get break free from me. Okay? If Romania breaks free from me, that would be bad. Germany right now is being very persistent in their, in their efforts to try to get Ukraine. Uh... A nation that is annoying me though right now is uh, our good friends, the uh, Italians. They are actually might actually do some stuff. So what I'm going to do is prior wait first influence this nation. Okay, then I'm going to prioritize the uh, Ukrainians just a little bit more, so that we can gain points just a little bit faster. These guys should be able to defeat this gigantic army because literally we are advanced troops and the German what? But unfortunately, failed to make any significant projects. Talk to Germany, Stalin, even with a comment. So basically, yes, Germany, Germany, and Italy will not form an alliance. So my invasion will be completely justified. Oh, that's good. That's good. That that made my day right there. That's gonna make my day. Tax efficiency, good. Oh, seems like they're dealing with some rebels right now. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to finish to defeat all these guys. What are they? Tunisian nationalists. Well, if Tunisia becomes free, I guess it won't be a bad thing. It's just, eh, I didn't really prepare for that. <laughs> anyway, so now we got more, we got more money coming in from our people. Great stuff, great stuff. Yes, very great stuff. And now we're also going to improve our educational efficiency. So everyone's like, yay, education. You guys should be able to finish off that right now. And I believe we finished up with our first round of... Making stuff? No, we still got a couple more. And the integration of Austrian Hungary! Yes! Austria Hungary spreads to everyone! Yeah! Austria Hungary! Okay, and it does. Hmm. You know, I kinda wanna go fix. You know, now that I think about it more, I kinda don't want those Tunisian rebels to succeed. Because if I wanna create a powerful and stable, like, you know, confederation of demise so that they will be able to fight against. Uh, but they do have 107 troops over here, and they seem to be moving them. It's just taking them a little bit. I mean, it's not like I built one of the greatest infrastructure systems ever. I mean, I did pretty good in my infrastructure building. Look at that. Look at this country. I mean, it's literally, it's literally built like a modern day country, and I built it like a very, very weak country. So, I did a, I deserve props for that. Okay, I'm gonna move all you guys over here. You're all gonna combine over there and just. Chill out while we make the rest of our planes, because I'm pretty sure right now we can build planes. I'm exploding, Khalees. Oh no. Okay, yeah, you guys go right here. Let's see. Are we building our planes? Because if we're not building our planes, yes, we are building our planes ever so slowly. We just have to give it time. Once we build the planes, yeah, there we go. There's that plane. Because planes are really valuable if you want to make defensive moves, people. Like they are the seriously the best of the best defensive units ever. Okay, now we got more time. Go back to France, and now I believe next turn we'll be able to form an alliance with them, and they're going to be really insanely happy when we form an alliance with them. Oh, trouble in nationalist China! Uh, trouble in nationalist China. Uh, let's see, rebels are successful. How are the rebels doing? Is it critical? Oh, it's critical. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. It seems like our allies of nationalist China, the people I was actually enslaving, 
actually are having difficulties, so we're going to try to go save them. Um, I'm not sure how effective this is going to be, people. Like, I'm not even sure we're going to be able to go save them before, uh, things hit the, hit the fan. And if they honestly don't, if they honestly, uh, can't save themselves, I really, you know, I won't be that mad. Because it was just kind of a, a kind of half ass thing. I don't think, um, Beijing will actually break apart unless I actually go specifically to war to th with them. And I'm not really planning on going specifically to war with them because I'm just not. Okay, let's see. Is there any explosive factories that need to close down right here? Boom. Done. Socialist support wanes. Yay! That's a good sign that my ideals are better than yours. Ha ah, ha. Take that, socialism. Okay, anyways, now that we got more troops, time to build more troops. Get seven more men for our next army. And get three more cannons. Uh, a couple guards would actually be nice. Two, one guard. Uh, a couple horsemen. No, not in Africa. In Europe. Three, four. And let's see, a couple more planes would actually be pretty nice. <laughs> okay, and let's continue on. I'm pretty sure it's time to go influence France. France, will you become my ally? Yes! France is now my ally! Huzzah! Next, I need to add Belgium to my ally list. Belgium, you become my ally? Huzzah! Austrian-Hungarian economy stabilizes! So now we're making even more money! Huzzah! And look at that, people. Now we got both Austria-Hungary... We got France, we got Belgium, exactly the people I need on my side. We are definitely winning this war, people. This is the, this is the first steps of war, alright. We have to also make sure... Okay, let's go ban the embassy of the Italians, because the Italians are being just annoying right now. Yeah, Ita Italy, you guys are becoming a little bit too powerful, and frankly, you're kind of annoying me with all your, like... See, they're already dropping the knife, as I said. So, they're already annoying me, so yeah, that's why I had to increase the relationship with them. Uh, Denam is still somehow in control, so I'm just going to keep decreasing relationships with them. Make sure my relationships are not that bad. Uh, Nationalist China apparently just broke off into half Formosa, half Nationalist China. Wow, that's kind of anticlimactic. That, that must be one of the worst Cold War moments right there. It's just knowing that half your island is under control of the other guy. I mean, we imagine that, like, I, I could just imagine the tensions just, like, mounting between these two types of people. Like, one is more Austrian-Hungarian and more european s centered The other ones is more, like, traditional, you know, viewish kind of ways. It'd be a very interesting island to visit, actually. <laughs> Maybe you could do, like, a whole entire news report on it. Hmm. That actually sounds kind of interesting. Hmm. Okay, it seems like they cleaned up all the rebel problems. Actually, they're still kind of cleaning up their rebel problems. Well, because they have ludicrous taxes right now on, which kind of does annoy me. But then again, I didn't really expect them not to have ludicrous taxes on, so like, that's good. And it seems like these guys are building up proper armies. I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do is call these guys also into the war against a Germanic nation. But I'll call them in a little bit later. And there's apparently an international crisis brewing. Um, What's the state? The Alti Union. Uh, do I want to join this? Not particularly. So, unless somebody else joins it, I'm not going to join it. And Vienna, you're a lady. What? The growth of our colonies has turned Vienna into a constantly expanding cultural and economic nave of, of empire. Every day when every passing out of people from... You read it, guys. Basically, I get 12 prestige. <laughs> Sorry. I get really tired about... Oh, no. Do I... Oh, shoot. You gotta be kidding me. So apparently Japan decided to back to crisis. Oh, this might turn into a world war, and I didn't really want this to turn into a world war. Okay, let's see. You guys are gonna join the Italians. You guys are gonna join the Italians. Please tell me you guys are gonna join the Italians. Okay, everyone's gonna join the Italians. Okay, but I'm gonna wait until every... Because as you guys know, last time when I chose a decision and sided with the other guys, everyone else chose the other guys. So I'm just gonna wait until everyone else chooses and then decide my vote. Okay? Because I don't want to influence anyone this way or that way. Because that would be just wrong. Naval organization. Yay, we got good leadership. Okay, and let's see. The Nam. We now can officially. We now can officially attack the Nam at any time. Which is really helpful. So when I ever want. Whenever I want to attack them and claim more land. We can. And I'm going to be happy when we can. Because that's going to be awesome. 
But this crisis right now is kind of freaking me out because just have to wait. There we go. That should basically completely. Oh, soup kitchens. Uh, yeah. Please end this nonsense. We really don't need fascist soup kitchens. It's not good. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And in the next episode, we're gonna have to do a lot more stuff. So I'll see you guys next time.